securing fan access. He's in big trouble. What does Stone Cold need to do at this point, King? Bone Saw is ready! No! You said the wrong thing! Again! Oh snip! Let me try again! I promise I'll get it right this time! I am the macho man! And I'm looking for some punk named Square Eye Jack! You're looking at him? Beautiful! I've got a question for ya! What is the greatest wrestling video game of all time? Uh... WWF No Mercy? No! Oh, here comes the pain! No! Ah... Uh, WWE All-Stars? Get that shit out of here! No! The greatest wrestling video game of all time is... Title Match Pro Wrestling for the Atari 2600! Ooh, yeah! Snap into it! Are you sure you want to play this? There are much better wrestling games out there, you know. But you can't fully appreciate the greatness by starting at the top. Now pick up that controller! Well, we finally made it to the Atari. At least we can start off simple and sweet. We've got a choice of four characters. Which of these looks like a winner to you? I'd say Mr. Mean looks like a pretty bad dude. All right then, let's go. I tried to tell you he looked pretty bad. So essentially what happens here is you pick your character who, for the time, actually look okay, even though they're all wearing sensor bars. The 7800 version is much more appealing to the eye. You just move towards your opponent, and unless you already know what you're doing, they just bombard you right out of the gate with all of the moves. I barely even have time to press anything before I get press slammed into the mat and swung around like a child. I'm totally defenseless from these attacks. Tax. That's because you're a jobber! Hey, I am not a jobber! Look up the controls in the manual for me. What manual? Show me that. Wait. What the hell? Why are the controls printed on the back of the cover? You mean I have to take this thing out every time I play? That's such a chore. Well, at least I know what I'm doing now. The controls are fairly advanced for the time, with various slams and throw moves, reach arounds and basic strikes. The idea, like any wrestling match, is to wear down your opponent's stamina and go for the pin. And doing certain high-risk stunts drains your own stamina, so there is actual strategy here. You can even do a tag team match and switch out with your partner to save on health, which for a game this old is exciting to see. And check this out, you can even go up to the top rope and dive off! BANG! The sound of the ring cascades the arena like a bolt of lightning. For what it is, one of the earliest fighting games, there is plenty of fun to be had here in my opinion, though only for a few minutes and severely outdated. Title Match Pro Wrestling gets 4 out of 10. Ooh, the macho man sticks him with a quick jab, and the opponent is shaking in his boots. The macho man lifts him up and scoop slam! It's time to go up top! Hey, where are you going? Time for what? x handle <laughs> One, two, three! Ooh, the macho man is your new! World Heavyweight Champion! Ooh, yeah!
You know? Okay, I can see you're a little mad. So why don't you come and take a seat over here? I've got a much better game that I think you'll enjoy. Okay, what are we playing? Micro League Wrestling, the first ever WWF video game. Interesting. Released in 1987 on the Commodore 64 and Atari ST, the same year as WrestleMania 3 and Title Match Pro Wrestling, it was released again on Amiga and DOS in 89. We'll be checking out the DOS version today, but we can't forget to mention that original cover art. The fucking state of it. So the match we'll be playing is Hulk Hogan vs the, the Macho Man, dig it! The interesting thing about this game is its use of digitized stills from real programming and some promos cut before the game begins along with announcements from the Fink and each wrestler's entrances. Certainly helps you get in the mood aside from the eardrum piercing squeals coming out of this. But what the hell am I looking at? What sort of wrestling game is this? A list of moves on either side of the screen and some ghastly visuals in the middle. This isn't a wrestling game, it's a goddamn strategy simulation thing. Each superstar picks a move and somehow the game determines which is stronger. You watch a slideshow and then you pick again. Moves seem to win at complete random so I don't even think you could call this a strategy game. It's like advanced rock paper scissors where every option can be beaten by every other option. No, you're not playing it right. You gotta think and make your moves like you're in that ring in front of 19,000 as the mega powers collide in Trump Plaza. At the bottom of the screen, we've got various commentary teams that spout useless garbage after each move. Realistic, if you ask me. Presentation-wise, it's nice, but honestly, an empty void in its place would have the same effect. I'm genuinely fascinated by this. If there was an actual method to this macho madness, ooh yeah, then it'd be much more exciting, but all you do is select options and hope for the best. Watch this, I'm gonna give Hogan an axe handle because we know how devastating it can be. Oh, wow. He even hulks up at a certain point in the match. I was not expecting that to be in here. But can Hogan survive the elbow drop? Fit chance! Depending on which versions of the game you play, some other matches include Hogan vs The Million Dollar Man, Jake Roberts vs Rick Rude, and some others, but that's all there really is to it. Honestly, what is there to say? It certainly possesses the high-end production value the Federation was known for, but gameplay-wise, it's woeful even for its time. Micro League Wrestling gets 3 out of 10. Despite the low score, I did enjoy trying this out as a wrestling fan. It's an odd little piece of history that's kind of quirky, and I'd say one of the lesser-known wrestling games out there. From parts unknown to the front row seat, it's time to take a look at the peak of sports entertainment video game extravaganzas. I'm talking about WWF WrestleMania on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's bigger, better, and better than you could ever imagine. Yeah, based on your win-loss record today, I'd say that's about right. Developed by Rareware and published by Acclaim, this was the first WWF game to hit consoles in 89. Man, Hulk Hogan looks like absolute shit on the title screen. I'd say he's never looked better. At least the music is really good. It's actually a David Wise product, which is fucking awesome. Though no Donkey Kong Country quality, still very good in the Audible department. Unlike modern WWE games, there is no career mode, no historically accurate snorefest, and no customization. You just pick your number of players, pick from the last large roster of six wrestlers and fight. 
Hey, sometimes simple is superior. Who did you pick? The Million Dollar Man. I guess you're applying as yourself. Yeah, what do I look like a chump to you? <laughs> yeah, you kind of do actually. Macho Man looks more like Hacksaw Jim Duggan for Christ's sake, and what am I seeing here? Two grown men stomping around the ring like dazed idiots. Why is it so bad? This entire game graphically is just depressing. There is no crowd, just emptiness, making the Atari 2600 game more visually impressive. Hogan isn't even in his trademark yellow and red. It's so bizarre. The other wrestlers look okay. Honky has the hair, Andre is big. Bam Bam Bigelow looks the best by far. But if his flaming jocks have the red and yellow, why doesn't Hogan have it too? The lack of consistency is really bothering me, and since when does 24-inch pythons do a fucking karate kick off the top rope? The controls here are so stiff. While the player can move in three dimensions, moves only exist in two dimensions on the horizontal plane. This means that if you're even a few pixels off, moves don't connect. Again, this is worse than the 2600 game. What's going on here? The manual lists each wrestler's unique moveset, covering a whopping 20 moves in the entire game, including pinning your opponent. It's so limited, and the only finishing move I see on the list is Macho's elbow drop. Because it's the only finish you need. Hey, since you don't want to play, Tell me how to control my guy up to the top turnbuckle. Okay, sure. You need to go to the very bottom of the ring, go into running mode by holding a direction and the A button, releasing A to start, but before you hit the ropes, you gotta press B or you'll just bounce back in the opposite direction. What a fucking project. The instructions even say, this takes some getting used to. Well then don't make it shit. You're kidding me! All of that and you still botched it! Hey, at least I'm trying! Sometimes character-specific icons bounce across the screen. I guess to give you something to do while you wait for the game to end. God, this match is more boring than WrestleMania 4! Ooh, that was savage! Randy Savage! The entire game is so truly pathetic, and what little it offers isn't worth the mental strain. WWF WrestleMania on NES gets 2 out of 10. Come on, we're done with this. Just pin me. What button do I press? Well, it's different for each character, because that's just fun. Uh, down and B. It's not working. Well, press it harder. I am! You're trying to cheat! How am I cheating? You messed up my controller so that I couldn't beat you! Or maybe the game's just broken. Look, I can't do anything either. Which means we're stuck like this for all eternity! Great! Well, what are we gonna play now? How about WWF Attitude? Oh, come on, Macho. Can't we play something good like SmackDown for a change? Ooh! WCW Backstage Assault! I was in WCW! Let's try this one! Wait. No! Uh, how about we play WWF Attitude like you wanted? That sounds fun, right? Too late, compadre. The main event has been booked. So, let's just tag together for one final bout. Ah, <sighs> okay. So we've skipped from 89 forward 11 years into the new millennium also known as everything important in wrestling history. Mostly, but oh well, after that axe handle, I'm scared to argue. Damn right!
The rival brand to the WWF, known as WCW, saw some fairly good success in the video game world once things hit 3D, with some Nintendo 64 gems and enjoyable PlayStation titles. The final of these was WCW Backstage Assault, where the entire gimmick is fighting backstage. Now normally players would have free roaming access for brawls during their peak popularity in this time, but... An entire game based around that just sounds tired before we've even started. Oh, you're such a negative Nancy. Just sit down and enjoy a game for once in your life. Okay, let's begin. The only modes are Free Play, Hardcore Challenge and Hardcore Gauntlet. The latter is a self-explanatory continuous mode, while Hardcore Challenge acts as the career, working through various fights to unlock new stuff and ultimately win a title belt. It's fine, I suppose, but what's not fine is this character selection screen. I can only see two wrestlers at once and the entire thing is split up into separate pages. And half the roster is locked anyway. Why is such a simple thing made so contrived? I hate it. Not to mention, these graphics are atrocious. Who is this organism imposter pretending to be Ric Flair? Whatever it is, it's a crime against nature and the nature boy. And that's a main guy. Look at everyone else. They all look terrible. Oh, what does it matter? We don't want to play as any of these bombs. We want the macho man. But you're not in this game. What? Well, we'd better fix that. It's time to create the ultimate warrior. M me. Macho man. An ultimate warrior of mass destruction. Ooh, yeah. I mean, aside from the kind of backwards menus and poor interface, this creator superstar is not all that bad, to be perfectly honest. I've definitely seen worse. Care to elaborate? Not really. We'll save that for Mania season. Well, what do you think? Not too shabby if I see so myself. Yeah, that 30 minutes will certainly be worth it once we get to the actual game. Just you wait. So you start walking around and... Just look at it! I've heard stories of wrestlers shitting themselves during a match, but this entire thing is a perfect representation. Without a ring to fight in, there is no structure at all. You just wander around doing the same moves and picking up objects to fight with. I mean, this can be fun, it's been proven, but this isn't. It's all so robotic, so stiff, and so fucking boring, I've already had it up to here with this filth. Now, now, it's not all bad. There are plenty of foreign objects to whack at people with. I love it. But it's so unrealistic. Who picks up a huge weight bigger than a wrestler over their head and hits someone with it without any trouble? Oh, pipe down, you. This is macho's time. There is at least a good variety of backstage locations, such as parking lots, warehouses, and bathrooms, each with unique items. Look! Jewel of the Fates between a sink and a urinal. What a classic moment. Yeah, any wonder WCW went out of business, with barely any interesting moves and immediately boring gameplay consisting of nothing more than trash brawling, this game has nothing to offer. It's time for some Harlem Heat! Whack! Take that, Stevie Ree! Oh my god, you set him on fire! For real! Holy shit, that's pretty cool actually. You can also put someone through a table. Well, the video scope got a little lost on that one. But you put them through the table, so then you can pick up the pieces and hit them with it. Yeah. Ah, ah. <sighs> what is your problem? You gotta learn to watch your back because the macho man can strike from out of nowhere. From the front... 
from the bet from down low, and if you're too slow, this tower of power will come crashing down on you, because the sky's the limit, and space is the place. Mm, okay, but what about the game? Uh, who am I kidding? It's not very good. WCW Backstage Assault gets 3 out of 10! Ooh, yeah! Dig it! Uh, well then, I'm glad we can finally agree on something. This game's theme really hurt it right from the start. While the trash brawling aspect of the game is... Tolerable, I guess. That's all this game is. It's missing all the other stuff that made wrestling games great at the time, as well as the all-important wrestling itself. Sloppy, but not the worst effort from today's video. WWF WrestleMania is the reigning and defending champion on that one. It's just a shame we didn't have enough time to try something decent. Well, if you wanted a good game, why didn't you say so? Well, actually, I... But until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share the video to the social medias. I'm the Macho Man, and Square I Jack's the Monkey. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great funky day. Ooh, yeah! Take care, partner, and just remember one thing. Macho is always watching. Always watching.